Shout out to DVD Era TV. Salute. DVD Era Sub Zero was a monster in the DVD Era, son. The kid, the boy wonder right here himself. Young Money, oh yeah. Young Lloyd Banks, Blue yeah. Hefner, oh yeah. Gang Green. DVD Era TV back at y'all with another one. Y'all know the slogan. Let's get straight into this one. Now, recently I came across an interview from Lloyd Banks from around 2010 with Miss Info, and Miss Info would ask Lloyd Banks his thoughts on Sean verse to Alicia Keys' Unthinkable, where he comes at 50 Cent, and Lloyd Banks had this to say. I, I heard some other things that Sean put out. I'll be the first to tell you in the world, he's very, very whack right now. Now, if you're wondering why Banks would blatantly just come out and diss Sean in an interview, let's rewind things back to around 2003, where everything started. Now, when the DVD era, G Unit was at the radio doing a freestyle at Hot 97 with Funk Flex, the Unit and 50 Cent was getting set to drop their debut album for Beg for Mercy, and G Unit was on fire at this time. Now, they were at the radio freestyling, and Fifth would take shots at Little Kim and Sean. Now, 50 Cent would drop a freestyle of Jay Z's 1900 Hustler beat. And he says, I heard Irv trying to sign Sean, so I ain't got no love for him. Tell him 50 said he's soft. He won't shoot up the club again. Now, I'm assuming that 50 Cent must be seeing the write-ups on Irv Gotti saying that he want to sign Sean to Murder, Inc. And he's going to Rikers Island to have a sit-down with him and possibly sign him to the label while he serves his 10-year bid. Because shortly after, Sean was getting ready to drop his sophomore album from jail for Godfather Buried Alive, and one of his singles would be Jimmy Choo, which featured a Shanti and was produced by Irv Gotti. And around this time, anyone who stood next to Irv and Ja, 50 would come at him like Fat Joe and Jadakiss for making a New York record with Ja Rule. Now on Sean's sophomore album, Godfather Buried Alive, Sean had a record coming at 50 Cent called For The Record. For the lines 50 Cent said about Sean, at his Funk Flex freestyle. Now, Sean's diss record to 50 was pretty decent, but it may have been a little gassed up being that Sean had a lot of hype surrounding his name at the time, being that a lot of rappers was mentioning his name in their raps and praising him, which kept Sean's name hot at the time as well. Now, 50 Cent aim more shots at Sean to respond to his for the record diss record on his Piggy Bank song on his Massacre album. Now, 50 is say Sean popping off his mouth from a cell. He don't want it with me. He in PC. I could have nigga run up on him with a shank for just a few pennies out my piggy bank now the back and forth between Sean 50 synergy unit will last nearly seven years and even when Sean was released from prison the back and forth will continue Sean will release records like there will be blood and the unthinkable remix of Alicia Keys where he dissed 50 cent on and Lloyd Banks will also send shots at Sean and Nas on his more money in the bank three mixtape on burying bodies featuring 50 cent and 50 cent will even take it as far as prank calling Sean while he was on a conference call with his Def Jam label execs what's up man everything's good but I was just wondering what is your, your real issue with 50. Now when 50 Cent finally got through on that conference call between Def Jam and Sean, this is what he had to say. Shut up, Sean. Fuck Def Jam. Fuck everybody. Now, Sean would do an interview with MTV responding to 50 Cent prank calling him. And Sean basically says he didn't know it was 50 Cent because he don't know 50 Cent voice like that because he don't listen to him. But one of his Def Jam partners recognized 50 voice. I thought maybe it was just somebody, you understand, having a bad day that wanted to know about the situation. Because that Def Jam was like, yo, that was Boo Boo. That was Hawaii Five. I was like, no, no. Now, after years of back and forth between Sean and 50, Sean will call Hot 97 to be interviewed by Funk Flex. And Sean basically says him and 50 Cent beef started because 50 wanted him to sign a G-Unit, but he was going to sign a Murder, Inc. Now, with Sean being deported back to Belize and 50 beginning to feel like Sean was no longer a worthy opponent, the beef would start to die down. Now, 50 says, you got to come with something for you to even be on that radar. Like, Sean, when he has something to say, I'm not responding to that because it's not good enough. The material is not even good enough for me i would jump out there just because i felt like being part of hip-hop culture competing but if you look at it it says who's really in position to say something i shouldn't even be listening to him so basically 50 started with sean because <laughs> he ain't what a sign of g unit he dissed him sean responded it was a big thing because sean was still incarcerated but when sean came home to a lot of people he wasn't as good as he used to be so 50 wasn't interested in going at him no more you get what i'm saying and um that's basically it. But luckily, these two ain't cross paths, and you know things ain't go left between the two, and it was all on wax, and you know it's just entertainment. But anyway, if you're a fan of these old hip-hop stories, tell a friend and tell a friend about my page. Like, comment, subscribe, and more exclusive content coming.
and I'm out. One. And oh yeah, who y'all like better as an artist, 50 or Sean? Let me know in the comment section below. And I'm out.